Hello YouTube. Well, oh, I love that that bus is like clockwork. I'm right here, 6 p.m. Uh, Wednesday, February 23rd, 2022. And uh, I, uh, sorry, the last video got cut off. It, it just did that thing where the YouTube app crashes while I'm, uh, while I'm uh, recording video. Just, it's recording video and then it's just, it just closes. Oh, done. Um, I have no idea what causes that. And uh, I don't think there's shit I can do about it, so probably shouldn't shouldn't waste any more thought on it. Uh, I didn't start another video because I figure, eh, I'm uh, I'm the closest to caught up on uploading my videos as I've been in a long time. I'm only about I think two days behind. In fact, I think I put up yeah I put up videos today from Monday. Uh, from Monday, uh, Monday night. So, so yeah, this is the closest caught up I've been in a long time. But I realize I've been shooting enough uh, enough videos that I'm probably not gonna. I'm, I'm gonna start to fall more behind as opposed to getting more ahead. Yeah, probably in the coming days. All right, I love this little agricultural bit of, bit of property here. We have uh, we have cows cows there right now wish I knew more about more about like who it is that that that, that lives there and, and what they do because it just it's just really really makes me miss living in the country and it's just so <coughs> such a bizarre, bizarre thing to be right where it is there um, for what it's worth to the north on the other side of uh, um on the other side of Medell Road, on the, uh, oh, well, look at that. The drainage canal has got a lot of water in it today. So it, I guess it's been raining a lot yesterday morning and today. I just managed to uh, somehow be in the right place this morning to not get caught in it. And pretty much slept through it all. Um, I guess the, the sun came out and the rain stopped right around the time. Uh, right around the time I got up and headed out. Which is, which is fine. I am not a fan of rain. I am, I am not a fan of driving in the rain. I am really not a fan of walking in the rain. Uh, on that note, this is the first time there's been any notable rain since I've been working on Amazon and doing this particular commute. And so, I used to be in the puddles on the sidewalk. And I hope, I hope it's not too terribly muddy trying to Right on the far side of the Silver Pass. Although it's uh, only a possibility, so I'm going to have to be uh, extra careful with my footing coming off. It's, uh, yeah, the uh, other side of the Silver Pass is not exactly uh, user friendly. So, anyways, I was saying my last, last video got cut off, uh, app crash. Which is a, a bummer. I actually ended up walking through some other parts of downtown Phoenix that I don't normally uh, I don't normally go to. Never mind me, just crashing through the hole in the wall, uh, hole in the chain link there. Uh, I think I am going to balance myself on the uh, retaining wall here. I'm a whole lot less likely to slip on this than I am uh, on what is potentially mud right there. It's just not as bad as I thought it would be. And there seems to be more garbage down here than there has been lately. Hey, but at least there's not a garbage human yelling at me. So that's... That's, uh, that's an improvement. Uh, well, there's a part of somebody's car. I wonder how the hell that got there. Uh, I don't, I don't know if I've ever really got this, this in the video, because it's usually pretty dark when I walk here, but 
some of that canal infrastructure that I'm always always talking about that Phoenix has so much of. Um, I, I find this stuff fascinating. And it's probably painfully boring. Whoa! I just hit some really slippery mud there. Yikes. Almost fell on my ass. Um, so, yeah, I, I, I find this fascinating. Um, obviously, this is still some kind of an agricultural field uh, between I-10 and uh, Amazon. And, and oh, and as I was going to say, we're going to kind of sidetrack. Uh, on the north side of the Dowell Road, uh, North side of McDowell Road, west side of 79th Avenue, there's, uh, there's also, um, also a field like this. Now, what they actually grow in it, I have no idea. Uh, I do kind of wish I knew. A utility box going up on the right. And, uh, you know, it does look like this little canal is still used, but it's, uh, you know, what's, up, what's up with that? I was thinking there was maybe a proper overpass here, but it looks like it's just been kind of choked up and filled. So. I, uh, I, I, I don't know, but I do see the lost soul of a dead pallet. Uh, so I, I didn't really talk about work last night. Uh, because I didn't shoot a video after leaving the Amazon uh, in the morning like I normally do. Um, you know, work is work. It's, uh, it's, it's, it's warehouse work, and most people find it painfully mundane and boring. And, and, and so many people will comment that, oh, I would, just, I would just want to end my life if I had a job like that, blah, blah, blah. I, I enjoy it. I really do enjoy it. And... Um, I, I, uh, I, interestingly enough, wasn't the pallet guy last night. Um, kind of a little uh, different dynamic with the people that were there. Um, I did get some insight <clears throat> as to why I've been getting so many push-through messages uh, asking me to take voluntary time off, which came in really handy with the two days I was sick. I was sick. Um, a little insight as to why that's been well, some nice people to dump the garbage here. Uh, a little insight as to why that's been happening. Um, trying to find the least muddy space to walk through. I get the feeling that another nice SUV on my left has somebody living in it. Um, uh, yeah, I did get a little insight as to why that's been going on. So apparently there is a uh, California trucker strike and a, the, the brewing of a American trucker strike. Uh, I'm doubtful it's going to be anything as crazy as the uh, Canadian trucker strike, which blocked the border in Ottawa for quite some time in the port of entry and uh, ended up being a big crazy controversial thing I'm really saddened <clears throat> and without letting this uh, channel digress into a uh, di divisive political channel I, I am kind of disappointed with the uh, the way the Canadian government has handled it um, that's really all I want to say on the subject I, uh, I just find the whole thing kind of disappointing um, I thought Canada was a free country, but things have been things have been changing there, and uh, we, uh, I think, uh, unfortunately, I think Justin Trudeau really showed his true colors on this. I said that was all he was going to say about it, didn't I? Uh, anyway, so it's actually affecting me. This is something I didn't really think would affect me, and 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 I kind of had a reality check last night of, oh, yeah, I, technically I work in the. Uh, logistics industry <laughs> and, and even though I'm not a truck driver my work is directly affected by truck drivers uh, fortunately Amazon's got policies while very uh, extremely anti-union um, Amazon does have in my opinion uh, 
very favorable policies towards workers. Uh, a lot of the kinds of things that that supposedly you only get with a you know the quote unquote you only get with a union job, you know such as such as paid time off and proper benefits and and, and protections and, and and guaranteed you're going to get paid for your shifts and things like that, um, as opposed to having your shifts just canceled out from under you when when business changes. So apparently Sunday night I had a discussion with one of my supervisors about it. Uh, and so I, I, I took the night off because I got an opportunity through the app and I was sick as a dog and that just simplified me not coming in on the night I was in no shape to come in. But apparently people that did come in, uh, there was a, a, a lot of, hey, can <laughs> who wants to go home? We don't need you people here. Who wants to go home? Um, now, they're, they're not. Anybody who wanted to work got to stick around and work. Anybody who needs their paycheck, they're not going to lose their paycheck because uh, there's not work. So um, it, it looks like whatever happens with with the uh, with the trucking protest, I, I'm going to continue to to work my schedule and receive my paychecks and um, and 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 probably have the opportunity to take any days I want to take off off. Uh, because there's, you know, the, the schedule and staffing is based on uh, the amount of trucks that come into this facility without uh, a trucking strike happening. And uh, there's a Penske truck. That's probably, yeah, uh, it's just a rental delivery truck. That, no, that doesn't count. That's not going to this warehouse. Um, anyway, from what I've heard, <coughs> excuse me, I'm still having flim issues. From what I heard uh, Sunday, morning was uh, really slow. She told me how many trucks came in, and I forget the number. It struck me as a pretty low number. I uh, I just kind of do my thing, so I, I don't really have any actual knowledge of what is a normal amount of trucks for us and, and how many came in, and it's probably something I'm not supposed to be, be discussing uh, with anybody that doesn't work at Amazon anyway. Eh, check it out. Nice to see the storm drainage. Uh, actually working really well because here we have a tension basin to kind of soak it up and here's where it drains from the street and uh, <laughs> by claim that serves very little purpose uh, and uh, we have a dry street nice to see when that kind of infrastructure works because apparently it rained like crazy today as evidenced by how muddy everything is um, so anyway yeah and, I, and the numbers that don't make a lot of sense to me other than apparently it was just not a lot of work to be done for those of us for those that were here working on Sunday and um, and she told me the numbers it went down to and it just sounded like basically a, after everybody that, was, that wanted to go home went home it was just a like skeleton crew working with not even enough work to keep them busy so um Last night did seem seem slower than normal. I mean, it wasn't it wasn't dead, but I, I think that the, the dynamics is a is a effect of the dynamics uh, caused by the trucking trucker strike um, or protest or whatever the hell it is. Uh, in coupled with um, what is called uh, Amazon flex shift workers, like I'm I'm a full time worker. I have a schedule of 40 hours a week, four 10 hour, 10 hour days, 10 and a half hour days, including my lunch, my lunch. And, and then there's, you know, part-time workers that work, you know, two or three days a week, but again, they're, they have full days and they have a schedule and that's what they do. Um, but then there's also what's called flex workers and these are people that work just, uh, Amazon's really good about accommodating people that want to work for them. Uh, flex workers basically don't work regular shifts. They've let HR know what their availability and needs are and they've got shifts that, that work around that um, and, and it's good to know that's an option because I, I do believe if a really good karaoke gig was to land in my lap such as oh I don't know uh, um, I don't know game game nights at Taco Bell Cantina 
I, I never thought I'd walk into a Taco Bell and think this would be a great place to do a karaoke show. But uh, a Taco Bell Cantina would be a great place to do a karaoke show. Um, I've always found is, is you know, selling a karaoke show is a lot more, more difficult to do with, with uh, cor corporate type places. But uh, not impossible. I, I, I did once do some TGI Friday locations. However, they were not corporate stores, they were franchises. But still, it's, uh, for all I know, I, I don't, I, to be honest, I don't even know if that, that Talk About Cantina is a franchise or, or a corporate store. Although, being in its, that location, I expect it's probably corporate. Uh, anyway, just about here, so I should really be wrapping this up. And I never get around to explaining yesterday's bus issues. I, I, I hope at some point I get a chance to explain it, because they were interesting. Uh, uh, but... But anyway, so I guess because of, oh, it's just good to know that, you know, that, that HR is, works with people and has that flex option. And, and I think if a really good karaoke gig was to lay in, in my lap, that Amazon would still work with me and I would still be able to have a, a, a worthwhile schedule at Amazon and, and pursue my, my uh, putting more effort in my karaoke business. That's, that's good to know. Um, so anyway, I guess due to flex workers that work quite a bit regularly and and in changes and whatnot I, I started on as a, as a water spider which had been my thing for the last couple of weeks and before I even got a chance to start focusing on pallets I think I did bring like one <laughs> one stack of pallets uh, to the queuing area because of course I did but um, uh, um, one of my more direct supervisors. I, I really don't know. I wish I was better at memorizing names and positions, but I, I kind of know who's in charge-ish. <laughs> although, <coughs> although, you know, somebody who is absolutely not my boss could probably come up and tell me to do something and I would probably freaking do it because I'm just easygoing like that and, and still kind of clueless like that. But uh, anyway, he came up told me that, that hey, we, we got... We got uh, Kind of, we got too many too many water spiders right now, and and with with people in flex and everything, would or you know, would you mind working uh, working uh, working on the uh, working on the line, and uh, you know, meaning meaning you know, being a um, you know, throwing throwing packages on the you know, being a, being a line loader, which is you know what I did for the most part when I started. Uh, you know, first few weeks here, and and it just so happened I was I was actually standing there helping my friend Garfield unload a pallet, just to to make room for for the pallet I had brought as a water spider, and kind of chat with uh, Garfield because I hadn't seen him in a while, and um, and I was already there kind of doing that, so it's like, oh yeah, no problem. Let me just. Uh, I said, yeah, no problem at all, and they didn't even assign me to a specific line, so I just. Uh, Garfield and I finished up that 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 pallet we were working on, and uh, I parked the pallet of goods that I had brought over to fill that space, and then proceeded to park my pallet jack and proceeded to work on that line. And I had a good night for the most part, just you know working working as a line loader. I I, I did put you know more effort into uh, into stacking pallets, which I always have you know, since the time I started there as a line loader. <coughs> I I. I I, I can't help it. Neat. I'm, you know, my my OCD. And sometimes when I'm when I'm doing certain things that I tend to do a little more meticulously than normal people here do, I get that song by uh, um, uh, Rhett and Link stuck in my head. Uh, my OCD. Um, need to link. It's you know Rhett and Link. I need to link that video to this video if you haven't seen it so you can see what I mean. But uh, um, yeah. <laughs> song and music video accurately portray what goes through my mind when I'm doing things that I just feel need to be done in a very specific, very organized, uh, very neat manner. Like, most people just slap the FRX stickers, you know, which are the barcode stickers, on the on the cases of stuff. Um, yeah, I, I must put them all in exactly the same position on every box, and they can't possibly be askew from the angles of the boxes, or it drives me nuts. That's that's uh, that's my OCD, and uh, pallets, stacks of pallets. They just must be super neat and organized and exactly, uh, and and no more than ten tall. Um, so yeah, I, I continued to do that as a line loader. I did that long before I was a water spider as a as a line loader. Um, 
So, uh, just just miss moving the pallets around. I did. I've just become kind of uh, that's just be, kind of become my my comfort zone here here working here. So, um, yeah, uh, about an hour. Let's say an hour and a half uh, before the. Uh, end of my shift, she did send me to the area where I mentioned where I very first started um, unloading trucks, which I really don't like working in that area. Uh, I guess it's called Fluid. Some Somewhere along the line, I, I missed that memo. She's, that memo. She's like, hey, can you go work Fluid? And I'm like, really? <laughs> Have I been bad? <laughs> I don't like working over there. And the reason I like working over there is just, it seems like some people just do a lion's share of the work. <coughs> and other people are just really standing around doing nothing. And my work ethic just doesn't allow me to be one of the ones that's standing around there doing nothing, but it super frustrates me being in that environment. So, anyway, uh, I've wasted enough time. It's chilly out here. I'm going to go inside, eat a couple more burritos, charge up my phone, do my thing. Thanks for coming with me on the walk. And uh, hopefully at some point I'll get a chance to explain yesterday's bus mishaps. It's, uh, uh, there were some. And I did give some incorrect information about the uh, Valley Metro uh, Light Rail 12th Street Station. I definitely want to uh, clarify that uh, and share that information with y'all.